Back now with Bruce. Bruce, the race for the final two playoff spots in the East is crazy. With just a week left, any one of those five teams can still catch third place in the division or miss the playoffs altogether. Of the Islanders, Pens, Caps, Wings, and Flyers, which would be the most dangerous if they made it into the postseason? Well, I think Pittsburgh. And uh, here's the reason why. And is because when you look at their roster, they have game breakers. And uh, the game breakers haven't broken any games until the last two weeks, since the, unless it's the last two weeks. They've been horrible most of the year, or very average, let's say. But if they got in, and, they, and even guys like if they had Jeff Carter going, this is my last kick at the can, Chris Letang, Eric Carlson, we can make do, we can make this year work. And then Sydney, who's already had an outstanding year and, and in most in most other years would be saying, hey, is he the heart trophy? Is he up for the heart? All of these guys would make it dangerous, and I wouldn't want to be the team that plays them. If they go in and if they get in, don't forget, they're right on, right now they're at a 6-0-3 roll. If they get in, they'll probably have to be 10-1-3 in their last 14. That's quite a good roll to go in in games that you had to win. So, I mean, that's the team for me that I don't want to see anything if I'm, I'm one of the other teams uh, to, to play them at all in the playoff. All right, all right, you mentioned Crosby. Let me add Ovechkin, Kane, Tortorella, Awa. There are some big-name players and coaches in the mix right now, still on the hunt. Which would cause the biggest waves if their team did not make the playoffs this year? Ooh. Um, well, I think Torts would cause the biggest waves because of his comments in the last three weeks. I mean, I think he's fine. I think he's got a, he's going to be, at the end of the year, they're going to talk about how much they overachieved and everything else like this. But I just think... That I mean, he just talked a little too much in the last three weeks, and uh, and his team has not been able to uh, get above that. Now, granted, if they win the last four games and they're in, then I'm taking all this back. But I don't think they will. I think there's their spirit has been broken a little bit this year, and they've worked so hard to get to the positions that they're in. That I mean, uh, I think it's going to take a little bit of the time in the summer to get over it to come back again. He's a great coach, but, man, he beat them up a little bit in the last three weeks. Yeah, well said. Uh, by the way, FanDuel has odds on this race. The two teams they think will make the playoffs, the Islanders and the Red Wings.